Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you guys had a great week and you're looking forward to a great weekend. I know that it's been a hot minute since I've talked to you, so I just wanted to take a minute and uh, sit down during my lunch. And here's my lunch right here. I've taken a steak and I've chopped it up, sauteed it in some butter with some green bean salt, um, oregano, and rosemary. Oh, it's so good. Tell you what, guys, it's a nice, easy, quick, uh, simple lunch that you guys can have. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you. We've been really busy the last couple of weeks. That's why I haven't been able to upload anything. And March is looking to be just as crazy. So I wanted to take a minute and just kind of let you know what we're doing. So two weeks ago, two weekends ago, my daughter came down from college and so we spent the weekend with her. So I didn't get an opportunity to go grocery shopping or do any prepping. Last weekend, we went to her college because it was family weekend. And so we got home on Sunday night and there was just no way I was gonna be doing any cooking or prepping or even grocery shopping. I actually did my grocery shopping on Monday this week. So it was kind of crazy. Tonight we have a band uh, fundraiser to go to for dinner, which probably I won't eat much, but that's okay. I'm gonna eat ahead of time so that I'm not tempted by anything or I'm not hungry and feeling deprived. And then tomorrow we have a band competition that we have to go to and that's going to be like a 10 to 10 kind of thing. So we'll make sure and we'll eat a really good uh, breakfast before we go. We will bring a lunch with us. Well, more than likely we will be um, buying some form of concessions while we're there, which will probably be like a hamburger without a bun or throw away the bun and sometimes they have lettuce and stuff like that there hopefully they'll have that if not you know we'll survive I'll probably be bringing some extra salt with me because I like my kosher salt and um, we might even bring some butter or something like that uh, along with us just in case we need it and then um, Sunday I have yard work to do I have a couple of huge irises that need to be split. They should have been split about two uh, two years ago. <laughs> and so uh, spring is really sprung here in Tennessee, and I need to get this done this weekend. So, sad, so Sunday, I probably won't be doing a video then because I'm going to be working in the garden and getting those uh, split and planted and everything else. So... I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a prepping video this weekend as well. Uh, and then next weekend, we also have a competition on Saturday. For And then the weekend after that, I'm going out of town. We're going from uh, Tennessee to Wisconsin and then um, to Illinois for a couple of days. Um, and so that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get to Wisconsin. I already have planned cheese curds that I'm going to purchase and, and maybe a couple other things. We'll see. Um, if anybody has any ideas of things I should look for in Wisconsin, please comment down below and I will definitely be doing that. Um, we're going to be in Ripon and then we're going to uh, go down to Rockford, Illinois. Uh, that's where all my family is from and so we're going to you know, just kind of make a big tour on a weekend and and um, and go from there. And then the weekend after that, we have another competition. And so the next month is kind of crazy for us. But I will try to at least put out a video once a week, just even if it's just kind of like this where I'm sitting here talking to you. I wonder if you guys liked the last video I did of a full day of eating. And if you would like me to do that again, if you do, go ahead and uh, like this video, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And um, I will definitely try to get that on the plate. I also have a couple of recipes that I keep writing down that I need to do. So I will be doing those as well as when time permits. But it's like I said, it's kind of crazy right now. Um, one thing I did want to talk to you about is uh, something that uh, sneaks up on me every month and um, it is electrolytes and leg cramps. 
Um, I don't take any supplements because of my allergies, but you know that on keto, you do need to keep your sodium up, your magnesium up, your, um, your water up, because these things are going to keep your electrolytes up and help you to not um, have any leg cramps or keto flu or anything like that. And I'll tell you, the last couple of days, I have been having some leg cramps. So because I don't take supplements, because of my allergies, what do I do instead? Normally what I do is I just make sure that everything is really salted well. Um, if, it, if you're using enough salt, I don't supplement with magnesium. I don't supplement with pot potassium. I don't, I mean, if you're going to get potassium from your foods, that's great. But I don't think it's safe to, um, to supplement potassium without a doctor's care. So if you do think you want to do that, go ahead and uh, follow up with your doctor about that. And, um, you know, you can take magnesium citrate and, and stuff like that. And I hear it really helps a lot. But honestly, all I do for my leg cramps is salt. So like, sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I have a, a big cramp and it just won't go away and so I'll try walking it off first and if that doesn't help then what I do is I go into my kitchen and I get out some of my pink Himalayan salt rocks and I take just a few if you take too many it will make you sick so don't do that and um, so I just take a little bit and within 20 minutes or less my um, my cramp is gone. So usually I get it in uh, my toes, the arch of my foot, and my calf. Uh, last night it was in my toes. <laughs> and so I was sitting there on the couch and all of a sudden my toes went and I was like, uh-oh. So I took the heel of my foot and I pushed it out which caused it to go straight again. And after a few minutes it did work itself out and I did take a little bit of extra salt before bed just to make sure that I didn't have any problems. But don't forget that salt is very important on this diet and that you need to make sure that you're doing it so that you don't have those leg cramps. Um, and I most of the month don't have a problem, but sometimes I do because I just I slack off on how much salt I'm taking or my body just needs more because of what it's going through hormonally or something like that. So um, just make sure that you're taking care of that. So I am going to go have my lunch now. It's probably cooled down and my mouth is watering because it smells so good. Um, but I will catch up with you soon. If you have any ideas about things you want me to talk about or things you want me to do, make, or um, discuss, please let me know. Comment down below. Like my videos. Don't forget to share them. And don't forget to uh, subscribe. So you guys have a great rest of the day and I hope you have a great weekend.